aren't these boxes usually smaller? Hey Bike Club, what's going on? Juan here with another unboxing video. This time we have ourselves the August edition of the Pro Wrestling Loot Box. And as you can see, yes, it is bigger because for this month, they actually tweeted out some multiple messages stating, hey, what we are putting in this month is so cool that it actually exceeded the traditional size of our boxes and the tape is still quite difficult for me to open. And hey, if you like this box and you wanna get it and you have never gotten one before, you can actually get yourself a 10% discount of your first box by using the coupon code BITEHAT at checkout at prowrestlingloot.com. So I gotta be ultra careful this time because I really don't wanna see what's inside. I wanna, I wanna build it up, okay. I can already tell this is a big item. I'm going to see if I can not look at it. I'm not looking at it right now. I'm gonna put this at the bottom and hope that I don't forget. First item is, I am assuming this item totally goes with the other item because it doesn't make sense to me. So let's just skip that and then we'll go right back to the other one. Who do we have ourselves here? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have ourselves a Will Osprey autograph. So if you're a fan of independent professional wrestling, this man needs no introduction whatsoever. I hadn't seen a lot of his matches, but if you look at highlight reels and all the crazy stuff that he has been able to perform. This is one of the greatest wrestlers currently in the independent scene alongside other people uh, like Ricochet. So check that out. You know, these boxes cost 20 bucks a month. And I definitely think that I've gotten my bang for a buck. My bang, a, a, a bang for my buck. Wait, how is it? I'm, I'm getting lost with my words here. I'm just going to go along with that one. Ooh, holla, holla, dollar, dollar. It's not Teddy Long, but it is Shane McMahon sporting some very sexy gray hair because remember that you always get yourself these collectible uh, trading cards as part of pro wrestling loot and it states Junior Mac with the money stack not afraid to take a loss toe to toe with angled AJ and Taker son of the boss has to pay the cost ching ching bling bling check that out gotta add that to the rest of my pro wrestling loot box collection Waluigi hold this for me Hey, he actually did. Now, we're not down here, so check this out. This is a pretty cool uh, Lucha Libre sticker. I've actually gotten a couple of uh, cool uh, Lucha Libre-inspired items like that uh, plushie uh, back there. I also got this cool Samoa Joe t-shirt as part of Pro Wrestling Loot, so if you want to stick your life with something beautiful, you can do a Lucha thing with this. You, maybe maybe tweet this to Kalisto. He can he can put that to good use. Oh, there's, there's something else in here. Oh, this is awesome. Check out this collector's pin of Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a pretty cool one, right? It is pretty cool. Hey, look at Nakamura. He he does he does the hand thing. And hey, SummerSlam. Hopefully he wins and doesn't uh, then lose to Baron Corbin. So let's put that over here. I got to take a look at this certificate of authenticity. Oh, okay. So this is cool. I, I guess this is something new. This is actually their way of validating that the autographs that are part of the pro wrestling loot box are legitimate. So it's a really cool, nice touch. Usually they put a picture of the uh, superstar signing the autograph in the uh, breakdown uh, description, but it's still cool, right? That they, they go the extra mile to make sure that you feel like you are getting something really cool. Now let's look at the last item and the last item, not up for bid, but it is. Oh, check this out. Oh, it's a little bent. I know that's not your fault, guys, but check this out. A Goldberg Funko Pop. So I actually do collect a couple of Funko Pops. Uh, I have a Roman Reigns one. I have a Nikki and Brie Bella ones. I have an Eva Marie one, which Eva Marie... I have an Eva Marie one that'll probably go up for about a million dollars uh, down the line. But yeah, check this out. We have ourselves a Goldberg one, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the good thing is that the front isn't messed up. So even though it got squished a little bit, like once I put it up with the other ones that I stack up, uh, it should be okay. Okay, so I'm going back to this item now, and I think I'm actually starting to appreciate how cool this is. But in order to explain it, first I want to go up to the uh, breakdown a thing that 
Oh, I just noticed now. Check me out. I'm over there on the bottom left corner of the breakdown box. I'm I'm taking a look and I'm marking out at the Kenny Omega autograph. Thank you guys for always highlighting all these talented YouTubers, all these people that honestly, they just love getting these boxes like I do. And in the back, they state, you know, what's going on every month emperor tradition you also see the superstar signing the autograph action figure plan see what goes into making one of the greatest of all time toys so uh this is actually pretty cool it's an actual patented document or a document about the patent for the classic uh actually i, I have one similar to this this is the patent for the original version of uh, this type of Undertaker action figure. This is like a modern take on the classic ones. And this is the actual patent for those classic ones. So you can actually see like how they have to go about uh, registering all of this. So I guess other companies don't copy that. Super cool, like how they have to like a uh, number each thing. I guess like that's their way of, uh, you know, certifying, hey, you know, like your item has like a hundred items the, the way that my has a hundred pieces. So that's sort of like a way to indicate you know, that maybe you're breaking my patent and I can sue you and, and take over your company. And then I'll just read a little bit of the abstract. It says, a wrestler character figure includes a main body portion, which is receivable in freestanding relation on a supporting surface. A pair of pivotally mounted arm portions on the main body portion, a pair of hand portions on the arm portions, and a biasing assembly in the main body portion. So you can tell like this is not meant to be read by kids because kids kids would uh kids would fall asleep uh halfway rating this. As somebody that does enjoy collecting and shout out to one of our patrons, both Seegers, I I know you also like this type of stuff. This is really cool. It actually tells you uh the date of when it was filed, the application number. You see it's here from Hasbro Incorporated. It was filed in February 6, 1990, and it was uh, invented by Daniel W. Price. So actually, I want to look that information up and just see, like, did Daniel only work on uh, wrestling action figures or did he work on something else? But this is just a, a crazy cool historical item. Now, if I had to talk about which was my favorite item of the month, it would honestly have to be the Goldberg Funko Pop just because uh, I was actually taking a look at this recent set and I wanted to get the uh, Finn Balor and AJ Styles ones. So the fact that I have this one now kind of is triggering me in a positive way to get the rest of the collection. So let me know which was your favorite item. A runner up though, even though the Will Osprey uh, autograph is pretty cool. I just I just think like these are the little cool things that, that really speak to what pro wrestling loot is about. Like I think they're also about educating, right? Like wrestling fans about the things that are happening in the world of wrestling, like how they, they lead up in, into that because say like down the line they ship something like this with a with an item you actually understand where that comes from they did something similar with the el santo plush uh, which is they they actually tied in in, in an autobiography so maybe you just saw that and you saw that as a random uh, lucha libre plush they provide context for you. I want to know which is your favorite item. Let me know in the comments. You can get yourself a 10% off uh, discount from your first Pro Wrestling Loot subscription box by using the code BITEHAT at checkout. I also have myself an array of unboxing videos available right here on this channel, including an exclusive Elgato Stream Deck unboxing video for all of our patrons because that's something that just arrived today. So I got two boxes in one day. I got this thanks to our supporters on Patreon, and this will directly go into making the podcast and everything we do, including videos like this, uh, that much better. So if you do want to support us on Patreon, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash by that. We are a crowdfunded podcast and YouTube platform. Um, by becoming a patron, you get permanent access to a Discord channel, early access videos, exclusive behind the scenes updates and videos. We have an exclusive uh, Bite That commentary series for gold patrons right now, where currently uh, you can check out a full three hour commentary session of Bad Blood 2004. So you can play that on the network and watch it alongside us. The reason we started with Bad Blood 2004 is because that's the, actually the first pay-per-view 
that the three of us watched together. So we thought it would be a pretty cool historical piece to start with. So hopefully you sign up on Patreon. Uh, check out the names of all the lovely gold patrons that have supported us currently at the end of this video. So until next time, thank you for watching. And we'll be back with a hell of a lot more right here on Bite That.